Mr. McHenry, Vice Chair of the Committee. Uh, uh, thank you, uh, uh, Chair Yellen. Thank you for being here. Um, I, I just want to go back to the Chairman's original question. Uh, the, the, the Fed is currently not seeking any changes to Dodd-Frank. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, you previously did seek changes to Dodd-Frank, though, did you not? Well, we indicated that it would be very helpful to see a change in the Collins Amendment. Okay. Um, so no longer, help us with no longer do you need any help with Dodd Frank. Is that the case now? Well, we we are certainly finding it possible to use flexibility that we have to um, implement regulations in a way we think is appropriate. You were you aren't currently in your seat. You're holding now when when Dodd Frank was implemented, but I was not. The Federal Reserve is the largest regulator in Washington, the largest regulator in the financial marketplace broadly, and perhaps the largest regulator in the world. Um, so when we have these discussions about Fed oversight, uh, a significant function of the Federal Reserve is on this regulatory aspect that was greatly enhanced through Dodd Frank. Is that right? I mean, a significant amount of your time is on the regulatory front, not simply the monetary policy front. Yes, okay. correct. So, you know, with these enhanced uh, regulations and enhanced uh, regulatory powers that we've been given, the Federal Reserve has been given through Dodd Frank. And do you have concerns that that erodes your independence largely, um, uh, because your role is so much greater now? Uh, in terms of financial regulation than it was prior to Dodd-Frank. Does that erode in many respects? Um, it, does it provide concern to you uh, that it will erode your independence going forward? Well, I think where independence is very important is in the day-to-day -day conduct of monetary policy. Um, we operate supervision and regulation uh, jointly with uh, other regulators under the um, oversight of Congress. But you are not, not concerned about the independence of the Fed when it comes to the regulatory piece. We have regulators in here regularly. Uh, many of them are on budget. We have to appropriate money. The Fed is very different in that respect. Um, so do you have any concerns about these enhanced powers you have been given and, and congressional oversight of those powers? Well, I think congressional oversight is uh, appropriate in all those areas. So certainly no, is. Okay, so you're very fine with the Congress having intense uh, uh, oversight of your regulatory agenda and powers. Well, we testify regularly on our conduct of supervision and um, regulation. Um, we put all regulations out for public comment. And Does that in any way run counter to the independence on setting monetary policy? Well, I think monetary policy is different. No, but I'm asking a different question than you're answering, actually. It, does that run counter to the Fed's independence broadly when we have intense oversight of what the majority of the day-to-day -day operations of the Federal Reserve is? I, I don't think it runs counter to okay. our independence. Thank you. I appreciate it. Along those lines, uh, the Fed has in, uh, uh, processed uh, additional uh, regs when it comes to capital and liquidity. Uh, requirements for community banks and large banks. Um, uh, are, are we, are we uh, done with the rulemaking when it comes to capital and liquidity? Um, I think we are largely done. However, we have recently proposed a rule uh, for so-called SIFI surcharges, which would be additional capital requirements for the most systemic uh, banks. Uh, that we think should operate in a safer and sounder fashion, um, given the likely spillover of distress but, but in the, at those institutions. But in the uh, uh, short and medium term, uh, is, are the Fed's proposals when it comes to capital and liquidity uh, sort of through? Largely through, but w there is um, a net stable funding ratio. Uh, that we will propose probably later this year as a rule, which could be thought of as a liquidity requirement as well, it and would that supplement the liquidity coverage ratio. Okay. So along those lines, this capital buffer that you, that uh, you've proposed, um, the Dodd Frank requirements that have been imposed on, on lending and community banks in particular. Um, uh, and the cumulative effect of Basel, Dodd-Frank, and these capital surcharges. Has the Fed undertaken a cost-benefit analysis 
on these regs and the cumulative effect on lending, economic growth, um, uh, job growth? Um, at the outset of this regulatory process, there was a detailed cost-benefit analysis that was done by global regulators um, working through the Basel Committee. And um, the finding was that these regulations would enhance um, that the, the, the benefits exceed the costs sure, because sure, but, the but has costs the Fed, are so great. Has the a, Fed undertaken that analysis? That we were part of that uh, project, undertaking that analysis. Time, time of the gentleman has expired. The chair now recognizes the gentlelady.